All right, guys, how's it going? So I thought today would be a good day to look at Blender's scene management. And it's one of these things you may use all the time or never. So let's spin the default cube of mystery, and let's get started. Now I've basically just opened Blender here, and if I come up to the right, you can see here, scene. I'm going to rename this default scene. It's just so we can keep a track of exactly what we're doing, and I'll add in an annotation, and let's just write this here. Now I apologise, I'm using the mouse, that's horrible. So we have a default scene. So let's take a look at making a new scene. Now a lot of users might save this file out, duplicate the file, start from there, and there's nothing wrong with this. But Blender actually has a really good functionality here. So we'll come up to the right hand side, and you can see here, new scene. And we have a few different options, and I'll quickly talk over them. New pretty much means that it creates a brand new scene. It doesn't take anything into account. Copy settings, what that'll essentially do, is it'll copy things like your render settings. So if you're on cycles, it'll copy cycles. But it won't implement any objects into the scene. And this is where linked copy comes into play. So if you do like a link copy, it'll actually copy your objects, and it links the objects together. And then you have full copy. And full copy pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. It makes a full duplicate copy. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to create a new scene. I'll call this new scene. And let's just add in an object for reference. So we'll add in a UV sphere, and we'll call this new scene. Oh my god, I'm writing like a child. <laughs> So we have our new scene, and let's take a look at the other options. Copy settings. So we're in our new scene at the moment, so let's change, say we change the renders to cycles, we change the path tracing to branched, put the render settings down, and let's make a copy settings. So like I mentioned, it basically gets rid of all the objects, but it actually keeps track of what you've set up. So we're still on cycles, we're still on the render settings, and this can be good if you really like your render settings and you're getting a nice render, but you want to have different objects in the scene. So technically we're in the copy settings scene. I'm going to add objects into the copy settings scene here. So we'll add in a cube, we'll add in a UV sphere. And we'll baby handwrite again, we'll call this copy. Oh, that's terrible, I do apologise. And let's take a look at linked copy. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to apply a material to the UV sphere. Let's quickly change the render view. We'll come up to the options here and we'll select linked copy. Now, it may look like nothing has happened, but it's actually created a new scene and we'll call this linked scene. And what we'll do is we'll quickly erase this out so essentially what we've done is, we made a duplicate of the copy setting scene. And you'll notice that when I deleted the annotation, it's actually deleted it from the copy setting scene. I'll quickly jump back into linked, and I'll change the material of the ball. And because these are actually linked, when I go to the copy setting scene, my materials are also linked. And this actually works for transformation as well. There used to be an option in Blender 2.7, and it was actually called linked object data. So you could move things about, but they seem to have got rid of us and just went for full copy. So technically the link scene and the copy setting scene are a duplicate. But let's say I'm in the link scene and I add in another object. So let's add in a plane for example. And we jump back to the copy scene. The plane is missing. So we can actually start building extra things in the scene. And this is great if you're doing like a product shot and you need to swap products nice and quickly. And we'll take a look at one last option, I'll go back to the link scene, and we'll do a full copy. And a full copy is pretty much that. It actually copies the scene and makes a duplicate of it. And this is ideal if you want to actually do something like a pre or maybe you're wanting to up the render settings, who knows. So I'm actually going to assign a material to the plane here. And we'll go back to the original linked scene. And you can see that it's not linked anymore. And that's the difference between scene management. But the more you get into the habit of using it, the actual more powerful it becomes. Now hopefully this video has been a little bit confusing. <laughs> but if you ever really need to jump between scenes, just come to the icon here on the left and you can jump in and out scenes very quickly. 
And that's pretty much how you make a new scene in Blender. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I've got a few minutes now, you know what to do. Peace. Thank you.